all right guys welcome back to my channel um if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe and of course like this video for the algorithm's sake um i just want to go over to through some news and see what's happening in the crypto market uh the new first news here says samsung launches space tycoon metaverse experience right so uh, samsung is one of the biggest um leading company when it comes to electronics electronic devices right and of course they they have been showing huge interest in the blockchain ecosystem now remember right in in life there is always a planting season and an investing period right um within the last two years we've seen different companies including twitter um uh facebook and, and of course samsung and some other well-known companies go into blockchain and cryptocurrency right so if they are going into blockchain and cryptocurrency right now and building blockchain solutions right now it means we are still early well we're still very early so this is the planting planting period so that means that in the next i need to close my whatsapp so we don't get notifications again that means in the next couple of years um these companies obviously will be expecting profits and they will definitely and obviously not make profits if prices keeps going down right so if this is enough reason for you for you i think um you know if you're looking for reasons why uh cryptocurrency is not dying right uh, the price is going down is the proof that it's dying cryptocurrency has a unique solution uh i think this is this is more than enough reason so that's the samsung news right so i'll read a quote here we wanted to give our gen z customers a chance to experience samsung products in a way that they have never done before we'll continue to showcase content that deliver more meaningful and entertaining digital experiences for both current and future customers that is the samsung news so moving on uh we've got a news from kazakhstan here kazakhstan's president signs law increasing tax burden for crypto miners and guys this is one of the reasons why um why ethereum is moving away from proof of work because proof of work uses lots of any of um energy right it uses a lot of energy and when ethereum moves over to proof of stake and that definitely will make ethereum hit more than ten thousand dollars per coin so um as the as a tax and clamp down on proof of work related blockchains increase right the the usefulness and popularity of proof of stake the delegated proof of stake will increase and also looking at the brighter side right um as long as you're willing to tax crypto miners it means crypto is here to stay so that's that about the news charlie monger in case you don't know he's a rich guy banker everybody should avoid crypto as if it's were an open sewer full of malicious organisms um you might be wondering why is this guy making this statement um this guy obviously is a is a banker right? the same way um people who work in post office don't like email because email takes uh, business out of their business and that's the same way bankers don't like cryptocurrency because it takes uh you know it makes people you know with cryptocurrency you can actually live your life without the bank you can send money from person a to person b without a bank so we don't even need to dwell on this article to find out what exactly he said then in a very funny funny news um this is about twitter let me open it so uh of course you must have been following the story how that twitter in you know, uh, elon Musk rather has been trying to buy twitter and his greatest concern was hey i think and i know there are lots of bots on pla on on twitter i want to know the the number of bots that are available or that are on twitter so that i will know exactly what i'm buying and twitter actually re refused to um you know to disclose all the, those information to, to elon Musk. And then Lomax was like, well, if you're not going to tell me the actual number of real users you have versus the bot, I'm walking out of the deal. And now Twitter, Twitter is like, hey, where are you going to with the money? <laughs> you must buy us. All right. So that's the news right there. 
well, the truth is, uh, at the end of the day, like I said in my other video, right? So everything that Twitter has been has been hiding from Elon Musk will come out once it go over to cut, right? So let's move over to some to some interesting news about gold. So this the the headline says why gold prices are falling despite high inflation right so during inflation people look for ways to hedge their their funds their money so that their money doesn't lose value and according to this article that um instead of the the price of gold going up as people are buying gold so as to hedge themselves the price of gold has has been going down right uh, and the article says what what you should know silver prices also fell to almost two years low why is it falling and I, I know the answer i'll say it shortly the opportunity to uh opportunity cost of owning bullion which pays no interest rises right um so many so many so many talk talks here but the writer doesn't re doesn't really state why it's happening right so but i'm going to tell you why see uh before now right gold has been seen or has been used as the hedge against inflation but there are other asset classes that are way better than gold right now and whether you like it or not those asset classes are in cryptocurrency and blockchain most especially uh, bitcoin related but the question i want to ask next is if bitcoin is actually the, the best solution right now to inflation why is the price going down and we hear news every day that people are buying different companies and different rich guys in the world in different countries are buying bitcoin why is the price not going up it's very simple it's called otc if you buy bitcoin over the counter right and not on spot or the tray or through an order book the price won't go up it remain constant but as they are as there is these rich guys are buying right now of course it's going to be profitable in the future all right so i'm going to end uh the updates on this very news about playboy in the early days of crypto early days of crypto Early days of Steemit, right, um, created by Dan Larimar, the same guy who created EOS, the same guy who created BitShares, and the same guy who created, what else? Who started DPoS, right? So, um, Steemit, that was created by, by Dan Larimar, didn't become popular until, until, uh, um, no, the NF, the, what is it? NF, is it NS, NSFW team started using it. So what does NS, NSFW mean? Is it NSFW? Not safe for... Oh my God, I can't remember the meaning. Anyways, to, to the pornographic world started using it, it, it didn't really make much, much popularity, right? So um, I, I've, I've seen different articles over the last couple of months ha, uh, of uh, porn stars accepting cryptocurrency as payment. So I uh, I believe that's one way that cryptocurrency is going to get popular, but of course I don't think <laughs> it's the best way. <laughs> moving on, maybe I'll end with this one. So I told us earlier that Ethereum is moving away from proof of work to proof of stake, and of course when that happens, you know Ethereum currently is number two on Coin Market Cap, right? And the biggest issue Ethereum is having is that Ethereum is not scalable, and one of the reasons why it's not scalable, one of the reasons is because Ethereum uses proof of work, right? And because of that, programmers and people around to and dApp developers move their solutions to other um, Ethereum competitors, thereby reducing the market capitalization of Ethereum. When Ethereum moves over to proof of stake fully, Ethereum will now become very useful uh, due to its popularity for building of dApps. And that would give Ethereum the possibility, the likely possibility of surpassing bitcoin in market capitalization now this is just a mere speculation that, that, that's a rhyme on my side so there's no guarantee to happen but i think it's going to happen as ethereum move over to proof of stake and of course why they're trying to do that right uh so many uh uh bitcoin maximalists have been trying to you know create fraud around them letting them know that Proof of stake doesn't solve Byzantine fault tolerance problem. I know you didn't see fault tolerance there, but that's what they call BFT, right? Or the general problem, that's another name for it. But that's a video for another day, right? If you learned something, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. All right, see you guys in another video.